Hey everybody, this is Brian at Obedia, and today I'm going to give you a quick tip on how we can find the tempo of a clip in Pro Tools using a built-in tool called Beat Detective. This is real useful if you've got a clip and you need to figure out its BPM and you want to just do it real fast and easy inside of Pro Tools. So I have some drums right here. And pretty simple, uh, just some scratch drums that were recorded. And uh, I know they were done to a click, but um, I don't exactly know the tempo offhand, and I want to figure that out. So I, I know that it stays pretty much the same throughout the whole region, the entire clip that I have. And so I'm just going to go ahead and use a little bit of a clip to start figuring out my tempo, and then I can kind of build things from there. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select a region of audio. It doesn't really matter how much, but I like to get at least maybe a good 12 bars or so, something like that, because this way I have a good section of audio that I can analyze for beat detection. And now I'm going to click on Event, and I'm going to scroll down and select Beat Detective. And now Beat Detective is going to open up on my, my computer screen here and uh, I have a lot of different options here and we'll go in depth into some of these other options and some other videos today as I say we're just going to talk about getting the BPM so in order to do this I'm going to under the operation section here I'm going to leave bar beat marker generation selected and the first thing that I need to do is I need to define a, a selection and uh, this way Beat Detective knows what it needs to look at in order to get the BPM. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start playback and then I'm going to repeatedly tap this tap end button. I'm just going to kind of keep in time with the audio and I'm going to tap this until I see that all these numbers right here under start bar beat, end bar beat, things like this uh, even out. And when those even out, then I'll know that Beat Detective has pretty effectively figured out my, uh, my tempo. And then I can go ahead and set my entire project's tempo to that if I would like. I have a lot of different options that are available to me at that point. So I'm going to start playback. And after I start playback, I'm just going to tap this button repeatedly and keep in time with the audio. So here we go. All right, so you can see that those numbers balanced out pretty quickly right there. They stopped moving. And when the numbers stop moving, that means that Beat Detective should have all the information that it needs for the selection that you have created. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and let Beat Detective work its magic. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out here so you guys can see everything that's happening. I'm going to click on uh, Analyze. And after I click on Analyze, I'm going to select Generate. And then Pro Tools is going to open the Realign Session dialog box here. It's going to ask if you want to preserve the tick or sample position for tick-based tracks. And it's going to tell you that you're about to enter bar beat markers into the tempo ruler. And uh, that can move any material that's currently on a tick-based track uh, unless you decide to preserve that position. So if you have any tick-based tracks, uh, you could move that material on that track. So you need to decide which of these options you want to go with. I'm just going to go ahead and preserve tick position. Uh, I'm not currently working in ticks, but a lot of times when you are doing time-based operations in Pro Tools, you're going to work in ticks. So I'm just going to go ahead and select preserve tick position and hit OK. And now you're going to notice that I have a new tempo ruler uh, entry right here. And this is going to correspond to the selection that I have created in my audio region. And you're going to see that Pro Tools has decided the tempo of this clip that I selected is about 138 beats per minute, maybe kind of close to 139. So I can basically figure that somewhere within about 138 to 139 beats per minute is what I'm working with here. Now, of course, always remember that when you are working with live recorded drums, there's always a good chance for some float in the BPM of those drums or any other live recorded instrument 
and so you are probably going to end up having to use some time correction on, uh, on a lot of instruments if they were not recorded with a click and things like that. And that's just something that's going to depend on the source material that you are working with. But this is a quick and fast way to figure out the BPM of a clip. And then as I say, if you know that roughly the rest of this clip is all going to stay at the same BPM throughout the recording, you can go back, select uh, a new tempo for your entire project. You could just go ahead here turn off the conductor and manually enter your own tempo and then you would be able to have the tempo of your entire project set to the tempo that Pro Tools figured out for you. You could get to work, do some time correction, or you could just get down to doing some more recording. I hope that this has been useful to you guys. As always, please stay in touch with me. My email is brian at obedia.com. Get us on Twitter at twitter.com slash obediatutor and on facebook.com slash obediatutor. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy music making to you guys.